Hey everybody, welcome back. So I would thought I would do a video showing you what I purchased with my Campaign 22 order. Um, it came on Thursday, uh, the day I uploaded the um, Campaign 23 highlights video, but um, I thought I'd show you guys what I got. And for some reason, I thought I ordered a lot of stuff, but I guess I didn't. I only have four things and I'm like, I thought I got more. So I even went back and checked my invoice to see like what I got because I thought I was forgetting something but I guess I only got four things but I felt like a lot more um today's lips are brought to you by Avon Beyond Color I have on the um lip conditioner which I have shown before but I always like showing it it's just a clear um no color lip <laughs> conditioner you can see how I use it kind of funky I put that on before I use a lot of my lipsticks not just my Avon lipsticks but um this works, excuse, excuse me, I was drinking a Gatorade <laughs> before before I film this video. Um, I use it especially with my um, liquid lipsticks from Stila because they dry down to a really nice matte finish and some kind of balms will leave, make them so that they don't dry down the right way, but this does not affect them. So if you're a liquid lipstick person, I highly recommend trying that because it works really, really well under liquid lipsticks. And then um, my lipstick today is also Beyond Color. It's in the buff. I have a little bit of a darker eye look today, so I just wanted something kind of natural for the lips. I love these Beyond Color lipsticks. I know I've said that before, but they're so nice. They're so opaque and they're comfortable and I just, I think they are Avon's best lipsticks. So, on to what I purchased in um, Campaign 22. Let me wipe that off so I don't get in on my anything here. Um, I ordered a couple things that are currently available. The first thing is the uh, Ideal Flawless CC Color Cream Corrector in the shade Light. And if you've been with me for a long time, you know that I have used one of these previously before. It was in a Project Pan um, that I did quite a while back. I would say probably even maybe like two years ago. Um, and I didn't like it <laughs> and I kind of forced myself to use it and finish it and I did finish it but by the time <coughs> excuse me by the time <clears throat> that I finished it I ended up kind of liking it and seeing that it was a good product so um yeah it has SPF 50 in it which I think is phenomenal and um I had the shade light medium before I think because it was in the summer but this I purchased in light since we're heading into the winter time and I didn't use it today <coughs> pardon me <clears throat> there's something going on I don't know what it is I haven't felt that good since we got back from vacation and today I just feel really really blah and I I've been I've been drinking some Gatorade because sometimes that helps give me a little bit of a boost I don't really like Gatorade but when I feel out of whack sometimes if I drink one or two of those in a day it puts me feeling normal again but I don't feel like I've got a cold, my stomach's kind of wonky, and I got a tickle. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, <laughs> back to the video. Um, so I picked up light just because, you know, we're heading into winter and I'm not going to be outdoors all the time. Um, I, it, it, it does come sealed, but I did uh, take the seal off so that I could show you guys the shade. And um, it is quite a light color. So I didn't use it today. I had meant to use it and then I don't know. I just didn't. <laughs> so this is the shade. It is pretty light. Um, I would say it's fairly, I don't know. It, it's, it's got a little bit of a pinky, even though it's not really showing up in my light. It looks pinky, but I would say it's pretty neutral. It's not like super yellow or anything like a lot of foundations are, but, um, Let's just blend it out here so you can kind of see more of what it looks like but it is pretty light so I don't know maybe I still should have got light medium but by the time I put my powder on and I bronze if I if I decide to bronze or and I have blush and everything I think it'll be okay so that's that's that and um I will be wearing it in future videos I meant to wear it today like I said and just one of those days where I just grabbed what was already sitting in my makeup basket and 
that was not it. So that is the uh, Ideal Flawless Color Cream Corrector in, in Light with SPF 50. And I do think this does a pretty good job of color correcting. I kind of struggled with the formula of it in the beginning. I was more a fan of the BB cream, but as of lately, my skin is changing again. Um, I'm entering in like a different phase of my life, hormonally speaking, and it's not the same. My skin is definitely more normal than it used to be. I used to be very oily in the T-zone and now I'm not. So the BB cream, I don't know, it just, I don't know, I just, I wanted to try this again. So there you go. <laughs> okay, the other thing it makes its debut in campaign 23, which I showed in the highlights video. And this is the new um, Avon's Answer to Beauty Blender. So it's a makeup blending sponge. It comes in another pouch with a little sheet that tells you how to clean it. Um, it says, allow the sponge to soak up the water and then squeeze out the excess. Douse the sponge in a gentle hand soap or shampoo and rinse until all the makeup washes out and then um, cleanse the sponge and let it dry naturally on a towel. So that comes in with inside the pouch that this is in. Um, I believe this is $2.99 in this campaign. Let me look really quick so that I don't give you any wrong information yep it's $2.99 Avon Pro Flawless makeup applicator right there at the beginning on page 8 in the campaign 23 brochure and um, it says teardrop eliminates visible lines and streaks for a seamless makeup application dampen with water and remove excess prior to application to prevent foundation from being absorbed into the sponge conserving makeup usage dip into foundation and gently tap on face in a stippling motion and then it tells you use the round area on the end for overall blending and the tip area for small places like under eye and around the nose um, it says use the pointed end in a stippling fashion or hard to reach on hard to reach or delicate areas such as under eyes, near nose and mouth. So the measurements are two and one eighth inch long by one and one quarter inch wide. I don't use sponges because of my hands. They're hard to hold on to. Um, I've never purchased a beauty blender. I've never purchased a knockoff beauty blender from like Real Techniques or drugstore brands or anything like that. But it was so inexpensive and I thought I will give it a try. And I know that they do swell up once you have their dampened. So I thought, well, maybe it won't be that difficult for me to manipulate. So I'm going to try it um, and we'll see what happens. If I'm comfortable using it and I feel like I can hold on to it without being completely awkward, then I will show it in a video. Um but this is what it looks like. And I don't have a lot of strength in my hands, but I can squeeze it slightly. So I don't know if it's like, I don't think it's super hard. You know, I've heard people saying about, um, you know, uh, the sponge is being really hard. Um, this doesn't feel particularly hard to me, so we'll just have to see. The pointed end seems to be pretty good. I mean, I think it will fit in that area nicely it seems to go right in there and then uh you know I can hold it to do around my face so so I will try it and it like I said if I feel comfortable I'll do a demo with it but I just kind of feel awkward I mean I know you guys have been with me for a long time you're used to me you know how I do things but still there's always that bit of putting myself out there and it's a little bit you know, intimidating because you never know when you're going to get a jerk to come along and make some idiotic comment. So, but I will try it and I will let you guys know what I think one way or the other. Um, so yeah. Okay. The next item that I picked up is in campaign 23. Also, let me show you guys in the brochure what it is. Where... Where is it? Well, here we go. On page 91, the Memory Foam Cable Knit Boot for $24.99. So I picked these up also. 
these kind of boots, I live in Michigan. If we have any kind of a winter with precipitation, they get messed up pretty easy. So I kind of like only spending around 25 bucks on a pair of these because, you know, I mean, they get stained up and grungy before the end of the um, winter and you can't always use them again the next year. I have a pair of nice ones that are like a camel color that I try to not wear when it's too wet outside. Um, I also have a pair of gray ones that Keith got me for Christmas last year that are pretty decent and I'd like to keep those going for a while so I thought well these can be my disposable boot you know or whatever. So I ordered a nine because like always half sizes usually order up and I haven't worn them. Today is 80 degrees go figure right but I think by the end of the week we're going to be finally heading into our cold weather um yeah today's 80 degrees I'm like seriously so I I mean I kind of like the way they look this is what they look they have that metallic um kind of thread going on and a little bit of metallic on the on the boot which in a way helps it because once you start to get water on it it helps that distressed if it already looks distressed or whatever on purpose um this is the sole of it it's definitely a rubber tread um and it's not like flat on the bottom these kind of boots so you still have to watch it on the ice because they can be a little bit tricky or the snow so the inside is got like um fleece feels like fleece and then the sole is very cushiony i can't open this up obviously it doesn't zip or anything where I can show you the inside now I like the way they look I think they're cute and I think they will serve their purpose however this is my only complaint I'm a little disappointed that this isn't actually cable knit um, it appears to be cable knit but when you because I thought oh well I wonder if I can wear them uncuffed you know like like fold them up no <laughs> that's what they look like so it's not even really like a cable knit yarn it's not cable knit sweater or anything like that and this is kind of like a polyester fleece type thing going on here which I mean for the price I'm not gonna complain however I know you can go to even places like Payless you know and you can find um the same style that actually is cable knit like yarn knitted you know so but I mean they look cute and I think they'll serve their purpose I think they'll look really cute I like to take my um like my straight leg jeans and I like to cuff them you know and make a little cuff and then wear like a sock that's bright colored or some you know something fun have that pop in between uh the cuff of my jean and the um top of the boot also with leggings you know I think they look really cute so I'm not like dissatisfied with them I think they're fine it's just I kind of wish that that would have been actually real cable knit and not just the appearance of cable knit <laughs> you know what I mean and then the last thing I got is in the demo and I it's a demo and I don't think it's available until campaign 24 I could be mistaken um it's in the mark line and it is a new fragrance for the holiday called Rebel Lux. Now Mark Rebel was a fragrance that came out quite a long time ago and they had different variations on it. One of which I really liked was Rebel Rose. That was a really nice one um, but they're all like limited edition and this is the one for the holiday the Rebel Lux. And there's also a makeup a brush set that has the same packaging on it so um that matches this it's white with this black pattern but even the box is just oh, fabulous i know that packaging should not be an issue with us but i'm a sucker for packaging so i'll read you what it says um Part edgy, part opulent. Be the leader of your own style revolution with this chic blend of irresistible dark plum, velvety baccarat rose, and I think that's how you say that baccarat, and mysterious patchouli. Top notes are dark plum essence, radiant Italian mandarin, luscious golden apple. Middle notes are baccarat rose, sophisticated iris essence, and glamorous jasmine. 
And the base note is Mysterious Patchouli Intoxicating Caramel Liqueur and Sensual Liquid Musk. So I'll show you what the bottle looks like because it's a stunner. I mean, it's <laughs> seriously, it's a stunner. And I have worn this fragrance. I wore it um, two days already. So this is the bottle. It is so pretty. Just, I mean, just look at that packaging. Oh, it is gorgeous. Um, the sides don't have it, and then the back is just like a mirror. The back is mirrored. So um, the top pops off. Mm, it smells really nice. Now, I will say that the top note is definitely plum and that fruit. You can definitely smell the plum and, is it apple? What does it say again? Let me check. Mandarin and golden apple. Plum, man, plum, mandarin, and apple. You definitely get that fruit when you first spray it. Also, it is um, quite strong initially, so I think that like I can spray it on my arms and it's fine, but to put it up around my neck or chest, uh, that it's a little bit much to just spray it directly on there. So it's one of those kind that for this area, I would rather spray the air and then walk into it um, or spray my arm and while it's a little still damp, maybe press just a little, littlest bit onto there. Um, but once it dries down, it is not strong at all. It's very... Um, subtle but warm and like alluring i i don't know how to describe fragrances but that um patchouli and uh caramel liqueur comes through on the base note i would say it doesn't take a long time for that to dry down but i would say within the hour you definitely are going to pick up that base note and it lingers it's not um you know, it's not one of those ones that you just spray and it goes away within 15 minutes or anything like that. It definitely lingers, and I love the base note. The top note, I'm not going to lie, is initially a little bit much for me with that fruitiness. But the base note, so nice. So it's worth it, you know. And if you're somebody that really likes the fruity, then the, then the top note is not going to you know, phase you at all like it did me. But this is a really, really nice fragrance. I like it a lot. <laughs> I really like it. And I love the packaging. I love the idea of how it looks just sitting out on the vanity. I think it's great. So this is their Mark's Holiday Fragrance. And I believe it's going to be $28. I could be mistaken. I don't have a book in front of me. But usually right around that price, $28 to $30, I think. But it's it's a beautiful bottle. I think it would make a great gift. It's a, it's a lovely one to have sitting out on your vanity. Um, it's just a really really nice. And I I'm not gonna lie, that base note is fantastic. Um, I really really liked it. So I was pleased with it because I did the rub and sniff thing in the book, and you can never really tell on one of those for sure. But I like it a lot, and I'm gonna order samples of it to give to my customers because I know that uh, I know a couple of them in particular will. Will really gravitate towards that so um so yep that's what i picked up with campaign 22 and i don't place campaign 23's order till monday so i don't know if i'm gonna get anything i'm sure i'll end up with something um i just need to kind of be careful <laughs> you know i can't shop too much even though i always really want to so um so yep that's about it and let me know if you guys have any thoughts on any of these um, items and also again um, just letting you guys know that if you want me to pick up that palette in uh, you know the holiday palette that was shown at the end of campaign uh, 20 look at my book 23 here I think it's at the very end isn't it yeah so at the end, the one on page 194 and 195, this holiday palette I said in the campaign highlights video, if you guys wanted me to give that a shot uh, to let me know, um, and I will do that. Um, but in, if there's no interest in it, I'm not going to pick it up because I don't need another palette. <laughs> I have so many as it is, and you guys are all well aware of that. So um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.